Okay, I'm going to see if I can give you guys a little demo on how this works. Uh, you launch the application, uh, the RMU utility as I call it. Uh, if you have more than one PO keys device connected to your PC, select the appropriate serial number, click connect, and at that point you'll see the pin numbers and configuration is read from the XML file. If you're installing for the first time, this will be uh, these will be blank, and then you simply click the button that you want to configure. Now you have 30 seconds to press the corresponding button on the actual RMU, and of course you can always cancel out of it. <clears throat> Sorry if there's a little jumpy. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. Okay, um, once you've done that, you click save, it writes your configuration file out to um, the hard drive in the folder where it's installed, and simply click run. And now the utility is running, and over here on our RMU, we can... change our frequencies transfer it back up same over here and flip it back um, I'm not sure what happens or what's supposed to happen when you click press that button but uh, doesn't seem to do anything, but you do get some indication that something's happening. And of course, press the page, and we can go to like page the engine one. And back to page, engine page two, page uh, ADCLS. Um, where was that other nav memory, com memory, more radios, back to page. I'm trying to find, of course now I can't remember where it was. Um, Oh, navigation. There. So that's kind of cool. Got all these functions. I don't know how you're supposed to get out of this. Jason maybe can help with that. I just push buttons till it comes back. Anyway. Um, and again, you can see that One click at a time works just fine. And I'm a happy camper. Alright. And then to shut the utility down, and simply hit stop, disconnect, and then you can close the app.